Believe it. I feel it. like this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me when you're. That's what you're gonna say. No, go ahead. All right. All right. So it's good. <laughs> what's up? We <what's> up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? Welcome to another episode of the Food Community Podcast. Rich homie Juan, LA Icon. Today we got oh. a, we got one of the ones, a legend, little Rob in the building. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you, big dog. Thank you. Appreciate you guys for having me here, man. No, I appreciate you. Honestly, I, when we had Gabriel Iglesias, that to some people might be the biggest interview we've done but i feel like this one's a little bit bigger it's more for the it's more it's more in our niche more for the culture you know mm. what i'm saying just saying no oh, man yeah well I'm glad to be a part of it man and uh let's do it man so out to the good man out to the bueno coming on november 3rd facts shout out to that album we'll get to there yeah yeah nah. we'll get there <laughs> we'll get there we're gonna take you on a road though nah so let me ask you a question how when did you start shaving your head uh i believe i was uh 17. So back in 1993, I believe. Sick. Yeah, man. My my homeboy Pee Wee, rest in peace. He uh, he was the first one to take clippers to my to my to my dome. And obviously, you bick it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Have you ever cut it with a straight razor? Uh, nah. Neither have I. Yeah. I'm bald. You go against the grain. Clearly, I just shave. I go yeah every direction to try to get every little piece that I you know. You're like Michael board. Jordan, bald fool. Yeah, <laughs> go pretty intense, but I don't know, man. Sometimes my hair grows it in a different way, and it's like nah, I already know. A hard little patch to get get rid of sometimes, but nah, we good. You do the check like this just to see if it's smooth everything, everywhere. Everything, yeah, the whole that's check, right, man. Yeah. And then you grew your hair out for a little while. Why'd you do that? Oh, good one, good one, man. Uh, just to be incognito, man, for a minute. It's man. you, fool. <laughs> How the you're gonna be yeah. low key. I was trying to be incognito and shit, but then I just look like little Rob with hair, dog. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> because all I was gonna do was comb it back. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, no, I did that for a minute too, man, just to be incognito and just uh, and lay low for a minute. Were you already with your girl when you started shaving your head again? Uh, uh yeah, but when I shaved it again, yes. Yeah, because I told her that I was sick of having my hair. Was it her idea or was it yours? It was mine. She was like, "Come on, Rob, it just shave mine. your head." No, it was mine, man. It was like, I, I, I'm sick of having this hair because I get this little cow lick on the back. That's not a <laughs> So that's always, and then I sweat a lot too, man, so I could put all this product in my hair to keep And that hair. shit is just And then it just starts standing up again. That ain't it. Yeah, that's not it. That's, that's the whatever. same shit that happens in my hair if I put like, well, if I were to grow it out, if yeah, I put yeah, gel yeah. or anything, that shit ain't staying very long. Thick hair shit. Yeah, man. So then one day I said, told her I was going to uh, shave it. We weren't living together at the time. And then, uh. Yeah, I threw it on FaceTime and I was just shaving my head. That's right. What made you want to go? It was going crazy and shit. What made you want to go incognito? <laughs> What's up? What made you want to go incognito? Uh, just the place where I was staying, man. It just wasn't really welcoming to me, man. You know, mm. and a lot of uh, a lot of things going on were, you know, you know, breaking my windows and uh, damn, you know, mm. fighting and shit, man. You know, just uh, but always, you know, backing up the fact that I'm not like that. You know, that I'm not that. But then. I gotta go through my uh, my things, man. But uh, no one ever hears about that stuff, eh, because of I don't course really not. talk about it. I don't put it out there. Or nothing. Yeah, of That's course a not. Few knuckleheads, man. That just mm. you know that I kind of bump into every now and then. So. Is Casual that one of the shit. deal? You know, not is that one of deal. the biggest problems about uh, kind of having to deal with fame? I'm still here. Um, yeah, man. Well, it's kind of a trip, man. Because I mean, you know, I mean. Someone says, yo, yo, little Rob, what's up, man? It could be a good thing or a bad thing, man. You know? <laughs> it's always up in the air, big dog, and I always try to make it a good thing. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Man? Good. You know, try to be good people with everybody, man, so I don't got to deal with that kind of, you know, you know, thing anymore, you know? Um, but uh, it doesn't always work, and sometimes it just, you know. Yeah, but yeah. I'm too old for that shit, man. I won't be fighting nobody, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You look, you're almost you look cool. You look like you don't even bother nobody. Much, man, you know? You're almost over the hill. I don't know where that hill is at, but I'm going to move it to 60. <laughs> That's yeah, right. I feel good, man. I'm all right, man. I feel good. I feel all right. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah, the longest? I can't, I can't do backflips like magic, but... Uh, oh, you saw that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't uh, know uh, how... <laughs> hey, he just said he could do a backflip, and I said, oh, well, you saw. Yeah, yeah, I saw. And then he did it. Yeah. And then he challenged me to do 20 push-ups, and I guess that was the equivalent of me doing a backflip. Uh, did, seemed impossible. Do the 20 push-ups, you get it? Yeah, absolutely. You get it, dog. Hey, it's funny, it's funny that you said it, because honestly, underneath your clothes, not that I look at you like that, but I always thought you were just a skinny homie. But I saw a video recently of you and your kind of butt, fool. The f Oh, yeah, that was uh, the, uh, that j Rock's video? Yep. I was working on the car. <laughs> uh, Don't lick your lips, fool. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was something. It was just an idea, because I have that tattoo on my back. It says neighborhood music. 
you know. I'm not mad at it. I wanted to show show that, you know what I mean? Has a picture of her back there too. On the Spanish, show. Huh? Yeah, you know. A couple of tributes yeah, right I there. A couple of tributes, man. Neighborhood music on my back, man. That's what I've been doing for the get go. So facts. You know, that's what I do, man. And uh, it's on my back, and um, I just thought I'd let people know it was there. Do you still work out? Still to this day? Yeah, I haven't worked out this past week though, man. Cause I can't get up, man. It's too uh, late nights, and uh, <laughs> you know, we usually up up at the morning, up in the morning, like at four in the morning, man. I'm at the gym at five in the morning doing my thing. That's the best time. Yeah, I try to get knock that shit out, man. So then, uh, but you know, so I go to the gym a lot, but then I also drink a lot too, man. So balance you, it out. It's all about balancing life. You know what? As a matter of fact, the first yeah. time I ever met you was at uh, <laughs> was at Dumbo's, yeah, and you were yeah. drinking. You be drinking a lot. Not a, not a lot like an alcoholic, a lot. Just say it, fool, you're an alcoholic. Like <laughs> you know? He but, drinks a lot, miss? Uh, she cuts me off at three. PM? I, no, no, after three beers. Because oh. <laughs> I get a little crazy sometimes, man. Well, it's been known. <laughs> Try to calm that shit down. That's right. Yeah, but I just haven't cut off completely, you know? Speaking about cutting off, what's the longest you ever let your goatee grow? Uh, it's been pretty long. I've seen oh. that kind of long, my G. And now that I look back at it, I'm like, whoa, shit. I thought that was cool. What the hell? You know what I mean? <laughs> I like a, you know, cholo biker type of, you know, but a little bit too, uh, you know, a little messy. You know what I mean? I was, in, I don't look back at that. I'm not proud of that one. You know? Nah, yeah, but, nah, it was but cool. Not too long after that, you know? I ain't mad at it. Yeah. It, it was you. Yeah, 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 it's me. That's crazy. I grew it like this one time. I don't know what happened. I just kind of grew it like this and kept it there, man. I just thought it was gonna be just, just yeah, just my look, and yeah, it's just my look. So when I grew my hair out and everything, man, no one was really, you know, work, you know, like um, giving me any. They didn't know it was me, pretty much. I mean, I would go to my shows and everything with the beard and everything, man. And, they didn't uh, see you. Know, they didn't see you as you. Yeah, it wasn't me, man. And I, and I didn't feel like I didn't feel like me either. So you know, I always knew it wasn't the right thing. But, but um, I was just trying to be cool, you know. Nah, I feel it. Yeah. Talk to me about my crazy life. Your classical, your yeah. classical album. Yeah, well, uh, uh, that came out in... Um, 94? Am I wrong? I want to say 96, man. I uh, did uh, Over the Night in the 619. And oh, Gangster yes. First, that's uh, right. That's right. Robbing right. the Brown Crowd back in 92. Um, so the first song I actually recorded was Mexican Gangster, uh, which was a uh, different song before that that I had rapped over uh, uh, Mr. Groove. You know what I mean? But then we made a beat to it. I went to... Caesar Crown Productions, um, which uh, my homies from the Aztec tribe actually shot me towards uh, Sir Crown because uh, the Aztec tribe had done their song, uh, Diego Town. And uh, so they shot me in the right direction. I went to work with him. I did Over the Night, Mexican Gangster. And then um, after that, I did Soy Chingon and uh, Brown Crowd. And then at that moment in my life, I got shot in the face uh, when, I was, uh, when I was 18 and 94. How did that? If you if you don't mind me stopping you right there, how does how does that how does that even happen? Yeah, it's just. Uh, yeah. I mean, I know how it could happen, but how did it happen for you specifically? Yeah, just the uh, wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. And you were 18 years old. Yeah, 18. It was about uh, about three o'clock in the morning and shit. You know, so I shouldn't have been out in the street anyways, you know. But I was, man, and uh, yeah, we just we saw a car drive by that we never seen before and. And then, uh, so we went to see who it was, and they turned around and boom, shot a shot, a, shot one through the car, and and then uh, we kind of chased them still. And then we had a little gunfight going on, so there was bullets being shot that way and bullets being shot this way, and and I got hit by uh, yeah, by a 38, I believe. And then um, yeah, and then one of them ended up getting hit too, man. So I'm just you know just really uh, you know I guess thankful that. You know, I didn't die. I almost died, man. It was it was close. Though uh, I would only had four jams out, but uh, in the but you know, glad that, that none of them died too, man. That would have been a really bad situation. I could have got myself into, and yeah, and there would have been no little Rob doing any more songs. You know what I mean? Because I would have been somewhere else or something. You know? Now, nah, well, you here, baby? But, you made it, shit. Oh yeah, man. We both survived, and it's all to the good, man. So you know. That's right. Man. Mm -hmm. you a lot of hold up, because a lot of people say when they get shot that they don't feel it. Did you feel it right away, or uh, did it kind of take some time? No, nah, I didn't feel it right away, man, but it, 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 it hit me in the chin, uh, shattered my jaw, like knocked out my teeth right here in the front. Uh, I got, you know, hit my vocal box a little bit, like grazed mm -hmm. it, and then I uh, got lies in my spinal cord. So then, uh, yeah, so uh, so when I went in for surgery, I wasn't supposed to, uh, I might wake up and I'll be walking again, and more than likely won't be talking the same as I was. 
So that was, that's kind of like what that was about. But then, uh, yeah, I got, uh, they hooked me up with a trach, you know? <laughs> I remember the trach and everything so I could breathe and everything. But like right when it happened, I just, yeah, it was almost like I was uh, just choking on something, man, because the bullet was mm. right here. So I was kind of just choking and concentrating on a, I think it was a Pepsi can in the back of the car. And I was just like looking at it, trying not to, you know. What was running through your head as, the, uh, as you were going to the hospital? Um, like you're like, damn, like. Were you chipping, or were you kind of just like yeah, trying no, to stay optimistic? I, I was pretty calm, man. I was pretty calm the whole way. You're just trying to focus. Yeah, my yeah, my, my boy, the, my boy was uh, he was he was he was tripping now, man, because he you know I was bleeding a lot and everything, and, and uh, so he was going crazy, you know. Mm. And then we caught up with them dudes at the at the at the hospital too, man. So then a big old pedal happened there too, and it was like I needed a lifelike helicopter, and then one landed because everybody else is in the parking lot throwing blows, and I'm like, you know, Damn. so. Um, yeah, so they life lighted me to a different hospital and, and took care of me there, man. So, uh, but I had my job wired shut for like seven weeks, man, and got real uh, skinny, you know. Oh, I had you on a liquid diet? Yeah, well, I couldn't eat nothing, man, besides, you know, whatever you could blend up and get through the teeth, you know? Mm. Um, so, but yeah, so that was a big, uh, you know, well, it should be part of my life real quick, you know? And then, you know, after that, you know, I had my job wired shut, so, and once I was able to, like, you know, you know, walk around and move and everything. There I was trying to go to Mando. Go to my homeboy Cisco's pad and shit and go hang out with the you know, with my friends and shit and and uh you know, every time I walk out the door my mom would be like, you know, crying and everything because she didn't know if I was gonna come back and and all this and that. So then I would, you know, just end up staying home and shit, man. You know. I'm mad at it. Yeah. Mom's was probably tripping like what the Yeah, yeah. Like when I say, you know, <clears throat> back in the days when I got blasted today, I saw my hip feet that cry like I'd never seen them cry before. And that's in that uh, what can I do jam, you know what I mean? But um, but yeah, no, and I just respect her so much where I put her through a lot. So, you know, I was never ever going to make her, uh, you know, disappointed in me or make her feel like her son's a low life, you know? No, I feel it. Yeah. Would you say that going through that and surviving that may have helped your rap career? Uh, yeah. I think so. I mean, I did come back, and I still talk shit a little bit. <laughs> like, on the payback, like, you know, and little things, like, you know, like, yeah, so, I, yeah, just uh, stupid things like that, man, but uh, but I'm, I was able to finish Crazy Life, you know what I mean? So, yeah, Facts. I for sure have, have my career, you know? And the thing is, with Crazy Life, man, it's, uh, you know, it's a sample from everything, man. I sampled Zapp and Roger. I sampled Prince. We sampled um, just everything i don't know if you should lose me uh parliament uh everything everything but we didn't pay for them samples man you know what i mean so, le so luckily, <laughs> luckily you know i did that at the right time they all cleared <laughs> i can't do nothing you know i can't do nothing about those now and um you know and uh but now now i know about sampling i can't really sample like that you know of course so people ask me for like a crazy life part two or something like that well the only way it's going to sound like that is if i'm sampling all these jams and you know putting break beats to them and you know but yeah, but um, but yeah, Sir Crown did that whole album and uh, and uh, yeah, we had a good time doing it just over a long time. What would you tell sixteen-year-old little Rob right now if you could get at him? Uh, man, I don't know, man. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing and be the be the guy that you are because you know that you're uh, you know, you know you're number one even though you watch out for number two. You know what I mean? And uh. Just keep moving, big dog, no matter what happens, eh? And uh, learn from that and just uh, keep on moving, man. That's it, dude, you know? That's all we can do, you know what I mean? I totally feel it. Besides your new album that you got coming out, what would you say has been maybe your favorite album out of all of them? Because, I mean, you had Natural High, which is... Yeah. Did what it did, you know what I'm saying? You got you got some shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I really don't know which one is the favorite, man. Uh Crazy Life is the classic. I think I think Natural High, man. I like Wicked Wicked. I like, you know, Natural High. I like, uh, I remember a lot, the original version. I remember that was real dope one with Biz on it. And, um, you know, so, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know which one is my best, but I like certain ones off of different, different albums or whatever, you know what I mean? I feel but, it. Uh, you got some, you got some pretty big songs with some pretty big artists and, uh, one of them is like the Lakers anthem. How, oh, yeah, yeah. You want to tell me how that came about, the Lakers anthem? Yeah, I think DJ Felly Fell hit me up for that, you know. And shout out to Felly. Yeah, shout out to Felly, man. Uh, 
you know, just asked me if I wanted to do it. I wasn't really sure at first, man, because I wasn't really into basketball like that. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I had it right, you know what I mean? And uh, But, you know, I represented it for him, man, and uh, and uh, put that verse on there for them, for sure, man, with a lot of big artists on that one, too, yeah. And then and just like that one with the game, too, the, my, my low rider, a lot of big artists on that one, too, you know. They uh, uh, told me if I wanted to be on that jam, if I would be on the jam, so I just wrote a uh, verse to it and uh, sent it in, you know what I mean? But it was a full verse. It used to be a full verse, uh, 16 bars, and uh, and that was playing actually in San Diego on the radio. Uh, the full 16 bars they put me on the first verse, and that that was that version of it. But uh, the version that's out right now that, uh, that that I can only hear now is the one with the shortened my verse. But you know. so then it's safe to say in both of those instances on Ice Cube's well on the Lakers anthem with Ice Cube and all those other gentlemen, and on the low rider my low rider song, you didn't pay to be on there no no contrary no. you got paid to be on there uh i don't even want to say i got paid to be on there but just more like uh you know I they extended that, they extended yeah. their hand yeah, that was good enough for me you know what i mean i'm not mad at it yeah you know they both did pretty well yeah yeah for sure you know and the, that one and you know like the the mas my east with the uh, pit bull or the, with the uh, fat joe and uh, nori and uh, sick in the sky and all them and that was a, that was cool too man you know what i mean to be able to be a part of that and have them hit me up to want to you know jump on that track with them too. And that was a reggaeton track. That wasn't something that I was used to doing or anything like that so when I heard it, but but you know, we could write to anything, man. You know what I mean? I could write to anything. And it was dope because it, it was with other Latino artists from oh, a yeah, different yeah. section. Yeah, for sure, man. And we got together for that video. That was cool, man, because it was every, you know, a lot of Latinos in, in the building, man, and they had their style and they were doing their thing. They were chipping on my style. They were watching me over there, <laughs> ironing my bandana to get it right. And they're like chipping on the whole fact that I'm over there ironing and shit, you know? That's right. So just, uh, you know, but you already know that jam, man. You know, Chicano yeah. style, Simone, that's what my style is. I come from San Diego, you know? <laughs> you, know or, you know, I come from uh, the West Coast, you know, San Diego, Los Angeles, you know? And threw that in there for a man. And uh, it was all, all good and all love and all respect for, with everybody, you know? I feel it. For sure. What are some... Uh, what, who are some Latino artists that may have inspired you when you were coming up? Yeah, like, you know, I, I speak about this a lot, man. Um, you know, uh, well, first and foremost, like Kid Frost, you know, and uh, the homie Spanish Fly from the Harbor area. When I, like, uh, you know, I told uh, Esa, uh, Esa Daz, man, that, uh, you know, I grew up to their, to their music, you know what I mean? And so if you listen to my music, you hear a lot of similarities in there, but... You know, when I was rapping my thing, it wasn't really to become big or nothing like that, man. I, but I really love what they were doing. So when I, you know, you hear S. Rich Rock, you know, doing 18 with the bullet, you know, and I was a little younger than that. And uh, and uh, so you hear Mexican Gangster, 16 with the bullet, pedal bad to the bone, mm -hmm. don't fuck around, homes. And that's a lot from Rich Rock, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, but I was 16 back then. And uh, back then, uh, it was a trip, man, because uh, the girls from my town, my neighborhood, they, they used to go party up in Carson. So they would go up to Carson, they came back with a demo tape of Spanish Fly. Boom. And when I heard that shit, I was like, oh shit, that shit's bad. You know what I mean? The way they did mm -hmm. the oldies and everything else, man. That, that to me was the ultimate, I would always be bumping to that. You know what I mean? But um, also ALT, another Latin time bomb, man. Yeah, ALT is oh, a legend, man. man. You know what I mean? I'm glad uh, to say I know him on a real personal level. That's the homie right there. Yeah, That's yeah, cool for sure, shit. Man, for sure, man. And, uh, you know, that. 17 shots, all that stuff, man, was a big part of my my uh, growing up, man. Um, who else, man? Uh, I mean, Mellow Man with the uh, with the Mentirosa from the get go. That was that was that was the first thing I heard on the radio that was ever liked that I think, man. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, Clica One, man, Clica One, Clica One, yeah. Yeah, yeah, legendary. Yeah, Bad Boy Brown and Romero, man. I've known them for a long time too, man. Actually, before I got signed with Upstairs, uh, they went down to San Diego and. Uh, we uh, vibed in the studio for about a week, man, and then went down there to help me, you know, write this album that I was trying to get to upstairs, man. And, uh, you know, I sent it in and and everything. It was them. It was uh, Wreck from Wicked Minds, man. Uh, R.I.P. Bobby from Letter to the Brown. And, uh, you know, we were all there partying at, at the studio. Queenie. Uh, <laughs> Queenie, what's up? And, yeah. Uh, other, other, you know. Another SD legend. Just hanging out, man. And, uh, and they were helping, trying to help me get this thing going so I could, you know, submit a, an album. And uh, you know they, they didn't they didn't choose any of those jams or nothing like that, <laughs> but uh, but but they were there for me, man. You know what I mean? And and now the camaraderie must have meant everything. Yeah. So then I just started, you know, I started doing my own thing because you know they wanted an album with Little Rob. I mean, we're signing you, and you know the album sounds like a compilation album. 
you know what I mean? So uh, that that was the only problem with that. But um, but just dope, dope rappers, man, real dope. And uh, a lot of respect for them. And um, as they tried from San Diego, obviously, because they shot me in the right direction in the, in the first place. And uh, so you see, like lately. You know, I did a jam with Asset Tribe, Pistoleros and shit, and I was I was just out of love, man, just to show, you know, a lot of time has gone by, man. I haven't seen you guys in a long time, man. We should do something together, man. Let's do it. You know what I mean? So um, not, that's all that took, you know. You know, I always thought there was a beef between us two that was never even existed, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I thought it was, and and it really wasn't, but it took that day to, when I did that video with uh, Leo Grifo. Um, uh, I seen them at the video shoot and we just talked and everything and there was a, just a big misunderstanding. So I was like, hey man, let's, let's do this then, man. What are we doing, dog? You know? <laughs> Talk to me about the little Grifo video. How did that all come about? I know Grifo, he's cool. Oh yeah, yeah, way cool people, man. Uh, I don't know, man, my, my uh, boy MTO hit me up and just said that he had someone from San Diego that was that was dope. And, Shout uh, out to MTO. Yeah, that, uh, you know, maybe I should do a jam with him and this and that. And uh, they uh, told him to shoot me some tracks or whatever. I heard that track and I know he was trying to come up and do his thing. I had never really heard him before or nothing like that. But even though I, now that I see that he's been doing it for a long time. And um, it was just a, a street track, man. I've been doing um, features for people like uh, Jay Rocks and um, of course. Claudia Liz and uh, I don't know, Acid Tribe. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Cuatro Prestigio. I did a song with them too, like the Banda thing, man. That's right. Um, you know, just doing a lot for a lot of people, man. Uh, I don't want to leave nobody else. Fans fly, did that cruise control with them. Um, On the one with uh, Cuatro Prestigio? Yeah. Is, is, that a, is that in Spanish or is that in English? That's uh, them uh, them singing in Spanish, okay. but, I'm, but I'm rapping in English. Just checking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know they did it in Spanish. I want to know if you yeah, got down yeah, in Spanish. Yeah, I can't, I can't get down like that, like that, man. You I'm know? not mad at you. Yeah, yeah, you know, but... Uh, but um, but yeah, no, so they did it like, you know. They did their thing? The Mexican, they did the Mexican style. And I came up with the Chicano style when they switched the beat to like an oldie beat, like a rich uh, beat. Ah, you know? hard. So and they, they played it. And they, oh yeah, they played it, yeah. That's and crazy. And how that came about too, man, he just, he hit up, uh, he hit us up and he wanted a, an autograph for his, you know, I think it was a, uh, or a shout out for his brother. His brother passed away, you know. And All right, Peter's so, brother. So he was a big uh, fan of mine and everything, man. So he hit me up and we talked a little bit. And then he wanted to know if he could send me something. I go, I nah, send it, man, whatever. And it, mess, it took me a little while, man, but I got it. And I just sent it, <laughs> sent it back. And it was, uh, no, they came to the studio with me. And we did it, man. And uh, dropped that real quick for them, too, man. So That's hard. Just showing a lot of love to a lot of people, man, that, that, that uh, just good people. You know what I mean? Good people. That's all you got to be, man. Good people, man. Uh, coming up in San Diego, there's a lot of uh, notable people from your from your area or whatever. How do you feel about the new generation of the San Diego rap scene? Uh, you know what, man? I don't, I don't really know too much about it, man. Really, man. You I mean, know? you got Grifo, I've seen, I've seen so there's a that. People, yeah, I've seen a couple of people. I've seen Grifo, I've seen uh, a couple of other people, man. I don't know, dude. Just uh, I've always just kind of like, if if Homer didn't turn me on to Grifo, then I would have never heard it, and then like. You know what I mean? So that would have never happened. But he sent me two jams that, that I, I picked one to, just to do real quick. Um, but I really don't know, man. I really don't even know who's really getting down, actually, man. It's because you're probably really busy on tour with Magic every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on in my life, too, man. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I live happy, man. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm doing good, man, and everything, man. I'm not so, mad at it. Yeah, so just to uh, just to come back into the, to the music and everything. Um, it's been about almost 10 years, man, but... What's it like touring as often as you do? Because I always ask, um, low-key, we're going to do a show. The Food Community Presents is going to be a show. And I, I often ask, like, Magic's people or whoever, like, hey, um, when are you guys available? Like, oh, he's with Rob and Bash over here. Yeah. Like, you guys are really f***ing yeah, busy. How do, you, how do you keep up? Uh, man, I just, you know, I, I just uh, appreciate it a lot more than I ever have. You know what I mean? Before, I, feel I wasn't that. really appreciating it, appreciating it like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but now, man, I appreciate it, man. My lady's cool. She don't, you know, she go handle your things. You know what I mean? She and come I, with you sometimes? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's my companion. And she flies for free and shit. Ha-ha, you're, <laughs> you're plus one. That's plus one, right. You know? And then she handles everything. Man, make sure I'm camera ready for the day and everything. Does Magic still try to sing to you? I'm sure at one point he was like, let me make a song for this fine lady right here. da da da, -da. Mama see you got Adam like, hey, magic. F uh, <laughs> uh, but I got home one day. She was singing the song. She found her <laughs> just, uh, was it with the MC Magic makeup palette? No. <laughs> you guys should have said, yeah. <laughs> I know she said, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Um, but yeah, so uh, 
But yeah, just uh, so I, that's the main thing. I'll take my son with me too, and he rocks summer nights with me. That's hard. Four years old, man. You know what I mean? He loves to go. He, he can't wait to get on on the stage, man. He gets mad at me when I don't take him. <laughs> you no, know, he, he would love to be here too and just to chill out and hang out. And just to do the see thing. What's going on and everything, man? Too, but you know. How old is he? If you don't mind me asking. He's four years old. Yeah. Oh man, I already know. Yeah, man. Very inquisitive little mind right there, I bet. Yeah, and he's cool, man. He's got his haircut the other day from Robert Original. With all, That's with all right. Side and everything. Shout out to all the original. He's yeah, been up here too. Good dog, man. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. He's a good dude. Um. Talk to me about summer nights. That's, you know, yeah. that's the one. That's the one that changed changed my life, I guess, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, but then uh, you know, like we already had neighborhood music out and everything. No, nah, that's a classic. Yeah. So I uh, went home and watching neighborhood didn't neighborhood music didn't chart, huh? I figured it would, but I mean, it, well, I was doing good over here, man. I was like, uh, no, of course. Every, every day after work, man, I come home for the from the four at four. Tito's four at four in the top seven. That's you remember that. Tito? That's the music was number one for about a month, man. I'm going to go even more, man. And we just would drink even more, celebrating. <laughs> yeah, man. So that was, that was pretty cool, man. It was a pretty cool time in my life. And then, yeah, it was summer nights, man. I just went, you know, nation. Crazy. I would have never planned for that, man. I didn't plan for none of I that. I think it peaked like at what, 13? Something like that? Uh, I don't even remember, man. <laughs> Lucky number. Yeah, yeah. I um, that was like five or something. Or I don't even know. It could be, but then Lean Like a Cholo did, did good too, man. So, yeah, shout out to Down. Yeah, we just had Love, Down yeah, too. Shout out, man. Yeah, I mean, we we went pretty far with the jams that we had too, you know? That's hard. So, to the good, man. That's major. Yeah. How, if you don't mind me asking, when you made Summer Nights, did you go into the studio that day thinking, I'm going to make my anthem? No, I actually uh, put up an umbrella at the beach and I sat right there and I wrote it with the sunset. No, <laughs> oh, shut the <laughs> not just playing it. Uh, nah, uh, fingers had the beat, man. I don't really remember. Oh, that's a fingers beat. That's a fingers. Oh man, say less. Yeah, you don't even gotta tell me the story no more. I already know. Fingers yeah, is a fingers. mastermind. Yeah, so he, Savage. He, he uh, uh, fingers made the beat, and um, he just he already had it ready, man. And I just I got it. He I, I don't I don't know if I took it home or if I wrote it right there in the studio, but um, it was pretty fast, man. And we just got together and wrote it, and he. Wrote the hook for it, and I kind of take the hook and I took it out and put, like, change some words out, like volo, hit the volo, and we just don't stop. Like, I think he said hit the party and we just don't stop, and I changed it to volo just to make it sound a little more uh, slang, Chicano slang, you know? Mando. Yeah, dog, and uh, my my cousin Jimmy, man, he sings the the, the background when he's singing Summer Nights in the background. He's my primos on that track singing, and uh, that's hard. Yeah, man. Um, so when it just came together, man, you know, and a lot of people didn't really like it, you know. What? I mean, that when I took it around, some people, oh. man, you know, like, God, they, they weren't really digging that, you know. I'm like, dog, everyone. And that next thing you know, it becomes, you know. There's classical lines. Obviously, the hook is the hook. Everyone yeah, knows yeah, it. Yeah. It's just, it just did what it did. I yeah. think that might be, besides, this is for La Raza, that might be the biggest song from someone that looks like us, oh, I think, yeah, yeah, ever. Yeah, well, they, and who would have thought, man, you know, I didn't know. I couldn't have planned that, you know. Fire. It just kind of happened, and you know, being with the label and everything, and 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 and, and uh, everything that they put into it too, man. Their 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 help and their teamwork, my teamwork, and and uh, yeah, just getting it out there for me, man. It just uh, went pretty big, man. Yeah. Pretty crazy. And like you know, so going back to like the the shows right now, like how do I do that and everything? Well, I just appreciate it so much, man. To where. You know, I kind of just want to go out there and make the people happy, man, and have a good time when they go to the shows, man. And it's, and it's dope. A little while ago, you said you didn't really appreciate it before. You want to elaborate on that uh, a little bit? I guess, I mean, you know, I guess, I well, you know what? I was in a relationship, man. I was in a, in a, in a bad relationship, babe, right, to where... Is you know, this one a bad relationship? Oh, no, this one's a good relationship. <laughs> this, is, this is my last relationship. That's yeah. right. Yeah, man. So, uh, I nah, know, nah, and we, and we, uh, we rock it, man, and... And uh, so anyway, so that was a big part of my life at that time. I just, yeah. I see crazy it with times, crazy times. I see it with smaller <laughs> level artists. Is no disrespect to the homies, but um, as when I was filming music videos, a lot of the time their ladies would not um agree with some of the scenarios that they were put in and shit. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you're making a song about women, I mean, probably might need to have some. Women. You know yeah, what I'm and saying? I even the videos, like you know, because I didn't really shoot that many videos and everything, but. But, um, it was like uh, they're just I'm, kicking I'm, it off. I'm getting noticed everywhere I go, man. Like, oh man, we took you know, 
go to the, go to the movies or something, walk out. There's Rob. Ten, ten, 10 girls waiting for a picture, and this and that, and it got really annoying to every time we went somewhere, and it's like, damn, okay, shit, you know? So then everything just became a problem, and it just became, you know. An issue, uh, period. Yeah, but, but I got through all that, man, and I'm at a good spot, and luckily no one ever, you know, took that to the heart, man, and just kept me, kept, kept moving, man, you know? And I'm here right now throwing out another album now. Talk to me about it. Let's talk about it. Well, what, what? Your new album. Hold up. Let's talk. Let's talk about what, what made you want to do this comeback. Exactly. Uh not just being on the road so much, man, and everyone asking me like, when, when's, when's the, the new shit day? coming? Like, up? We're out here for four years, you know, <laughs> doing all these shows, man. But you ain't got nothing. But you know, and then I did go do something with them and her and them and them and them, and like, it just became a feature artist, and I didn't feel like that's what I was, you know, and uh, you know, so just had to like take time to myself to put together my own album. So hit up fingers and asked him if he was ready to go. He's the only person I think that could, you know, make this happen for me and make it sound bumping and quality over, you know, quantity, you know of what I mean? Of course. I would make it bumping and everything, man. So, uh, so yeah, we got together and, um, uh, you know, did the business and everything and got, you know, went to the studio, got three sessions with them and recorded 11 jams real quick. Man. Out of all these years, none of the big, big, big labels ever try to reach out and buy you out or anything like that. Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, I think it's happened a couple times that, like that I've heard, but I don't even really pay attention, man. I'm loyal to where I'm at, you know. That's right. I'm yeah. not mad at that. Yeah, for sure, man. And we've gone so far, and uh, you know, they're the ones who got me to a certain place. For so for me to be like, well, I'm at this place now. I'm out. Hey, I'm gonna go do this. You know, just want to be right. You know what I mean? And um, and then you know and. And now, now the CEO of the label, John Lopez, shout out to my friend, John Lopez. Shout out to Mr. Lopez. And so being, you know, my best friend there, you know what I mean? And, That's and, right. And now we've got different things going on and, uh, you know, and um, so the album came about and it was like, hey, man, let's do it. Let's do one last hurrah, for, you know, just for the for the hell of it, you know what I mean? But that doesn't mean it's the last one, you know what I mean? I don't think it's ever going to be the last one, you know? I feel it. I mean, not right now, anyways. I'll come up back with something no matter when when it is, you know? So what are some what are some inspirations that caused you to write this album other than being not wanting to be just a featured artist? Um, Cause I'm sure you got some love songs on there. Oh yeah, for sure. Don't look yeah. at her. <laughs> yeah, That's you your see, music. Yeah, you can see the past the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just uh, you know, and a lot of them too, man. It's just me, like uh, you know, so I got some mouse going on too, where I drive, I, I I drive a lot, man. So I'm on the freeway a lot. So when I'm on the freeway a lot, I just put my music on and I write. And I might write a verse, and then I just kind of like all of a sudden it's a whole song. Years, all of a sudden it's a whole album. You know what I mean? Right. And I knew which one were the keepers. I knew which ones the show fingers, and of that, course. that was done. Instead of doing a whole bunch of jams and trying to pick the best ones, it was just these these are the ones. You know what I mean? You just dropped a new music video about a I don't want to say a week ago, maybe a couple of days ago. Talk to me about it. How did that yeah, come yeah, about? Just, uh, yeah, it's it's hard for me to get behind the camera, man. You know, I get like. You know, camera shy, you know, all that kind of stuff, eh? But we 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 did it, man, and uh, with the on <laughs> and uh, the legend, the song called "Moment in Time," man, and uh, yeah, there's a, there's a part in there where I say, uh, "It's like a mind game that I play that I always win, cause that's just my way." And if you don't like it, then hit the highway and get stuck in traffic like it's a Friday in L.A. Cause that LA traffic ain't no joke, you know what I mean. So I Facts. shot out LA and uh, to have a Stevan shooting the video from LA and can't be uh, can't go wrong. You know, rolling through LA, man, and one of the biggest markets that I have, man, in LA. And so it's just all love, man. You know. What are some other videos you look forward to releasing from that project? All of them, man. I want to do a video to all of them, actually, man. That's How many songs are on the on the project? Different, man. Uh, oh man, I was hoping for 11, but there's 10. I just wait. I was waiting on a. Uh, sample clearance, man, that we're not getting. It's like, damn, man, that's one of my favorite ones. You know? Release it for free. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go, yeah. Uh, obviously, you liked it enough to stall out for yeah, the clearance. Yeah, for, sure, for sure, man. I was like, F man. You Just know. drop it for free, shoot a video to it. There you go. Tell us, Steph, tell us, Steph, on a two for one one of those days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a good guy. You can come out of retirement too, man. Shoot videos too, man. I know you do. Let me know. Yeah. You already know. I'll take a little trip down the 15. It's nothing. All right, all right. All right. What else yeah. can we expect from this new album? Uh, well, it's a little bit of everything, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Just uh, feel good, feel good music, good time music. Uh, yeah, you heard too much already, man. And uh, it's just kind of like, you know, I don't know. Just, Letting people know not to talk too much, you know, I don't know. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you know, because sometimes it's just a little too much, you know. 
uh, moment in time, kind of like a, about, you know, kind of the same thing, you know, just trying to, you know, tell people not to uh, burn bridges, man, and, uh, you know, like uh, some will choose uh, money over friendships, man, and they'll burn you real quick, man, and just call it a day, you know what I mean? And it's like, whoa, I can't, I don't understand those kind of people. I can't comprehend their uh, their thinking when they do something like that, man, because I could never be like that, man. So it's almost like, you know, so many people like that come into my life, and I just have to always shine them to the left and shine them to the right and just, and try to stay on my path, man, and, um, and try to try to avoid those kind of people, man. And if you want to be those kind of people, well, then, you know, don't don't be asking how come when you feel the outcome, you know? <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I got other jams, too, that soul, you know, just talking about it's almost like a Marvin Gaye beat and kind of reminds me of uh, Soul Train, man. So the whole concept is kind of about Soul, like soul Train type of thing. I'm a Chicano, but I, you know, I was playing Soul Train every weekend in my in my in my household. You know what I mean? That's right. Yeah, for sure, man. So just uh, good time music, man. You know, pretty much, man. And where could they find that? Everywhere music is sold. I'm assuming, right? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be everywhere, man. Yeah, November third, all to the bueno. Cause no matter what, man, it's all to the bueno, dog. It's all good. It's all good, man. You know. That's right. Yeah. Let me ask you something that might not be all good. All right, go ahead, man. It's all good. What about the Chargers leaving San Diego? Uh, that was that's when I stopped watching football. <laughs> yeah, it was just something about you know. Was it easy San for Diego you? Chargers, man. For someone being from Los Angeles, I thought that was f- bananas. Well, you know, you go to you go to LA, where there's already a team. Like there's always, like have all like we always have two teams for everything. Yeah. It's just crazy. Do, do you need that? I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. And there's no, and, <laughs> and based to your knowledge, there's no way in hell the, the Chargers are going back to SD. Not that, I don't even know. I don't even care no more. You're sad, that's it, nah, it's over. I'm really sad, I wasn't really too into it like that, like that, but you know, just it's just kind of like, yeah, man, we don't got a team now, you know? That's crazy. That's some dope ass colors, that powder blue, you know, dope. Did you bring your jerseys like the rest of the fools? Nah, I saw that, man. That's a little too crazy. He said, like, did you say you sold them? Nah, nah, I saw oh, that. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I gave I gave a couple away. That's crazy. I had a, a couple bad ones with uh, 12, 18 on them. 12 on the front, 12, 18 on the back. Oh, that's pretty hard. 12, 18, I gave it away. Yeah, it's a bad one. Yeah. I'm wearing, I'm wearing it in the, I don't know, I'm wearing it in that. Well, you were definitely pissed off to give away a hard ass customized Vol- jersey. The Voltio video? Yeah, the, the <laughs> rub on the back. I don't know, I forget. For the record, yeah. I'm not a big NFL fan these days, so it's yeah, not like yeah. I'm going to be like, yeah, well, f Chargers, homie. Yeah, I got other uh, things to do, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm on some other shit. I'm a little yeah. busy. But uh, yeah, I had to ask you that. Another question I ask almost every single person that sits in that chair is what is your uh, top five Chicano artists of all time? Top five Chicano artists of all time. Well, damn, man. I mean, I just... It's okay to put yourself in there. No, I just know what I was brought up on. You know what I mean? I know what I was brought up on. And, uh, um, damn, I don't want to I don't want to leave nobody out, man, because there's some dope artists out there, man. But, like, it was Kid Frost and and uh, Proper Dose, Frank V, Proper Dose. Salute to Ernie G and Frankie. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mexican Power, that was one of the first jams. Legend. I know what a night in the 619. I say, pop them Proper Dose, Simone, Mexican Power. That's right. I'm propping them out from the get-go from the first song I ever put out, you know? Facts. Um, been giving props like that for a long time. Um, shit, man. Sp- oh, Spanish Fly always, too, man. Spanish Fly That's always. That's Daz and all them fine yeah. gentlemen. Yep. Yeah, That's a rich rock. Uh, ALT, man, he was always a dope writer to me, you know. A lot One of, of the best. Like and then, uh, man, where was that? For now? And then... Um, In no particular order, of yeah, course. Yeah, no, no particular order. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, Click up one, too, man. I feel the, the, the way they got down with Messi Monsters Brown. Fucking bad boy. They're all, they're yeah. all bad spitters, man, you know what I mean? The rhyme, rhyme setters, man, and... Uh, so that's pretty cool. So even like even like when they came down to rap with me and I would hear them rap and everything, I'm like, God damn, okay, wait a minute. I have to go back to the old drawing board, <laughs> you know? And, uh, and you just never know what's going to hit, though, you know? Do you have a top five of the current generation? I don't, man. I don't. I don't really listen to too much, man, honestly. I'm not yeah. mad at it. Yeah, yeah and that, that's no disrespect to nobody. I mean, no disrespect by that at all. I'm just like, you know, you know, doing the family thing and doing this... Another business things, you know, ventures I'm in, and uh, so the rap thing is just like, yeah, this is just me coming out with with whatever I think sounds 
sounds good to my ear, you know, but uh, but more power to everybody, man, you know. Absolutely. Met a couple of people on the road that that that've been on the shows with me and everything, and I, I appreciate that they're. I thank them that they're uh, you know blessing my stage with me and everything too. Of course. So it's all to the good. No. Are you open to working with young talent if they reach out? If it makes sense. Yeah, if it makes sense. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's how that little grateful thing came about too. You know. So Perfect example. Yeah, if it makes sense, man, and you know, you just gotta like, you know, watch how you carry yourself and everything too, man. Um, um, I'm a real, you know, I, I really watch all that stuff and how someone carries themselves. And if I see like uh, anything in you that kind of might seem a little off to where I might not be able to trust you with something, then then I kind of like shy away from that day because you know, fool me once, shame on you. Never let them fool me twice. And uh, and so I wouldn't want to put myself in that position to get you know, uh, food like that or something like that. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm really careful with that type of thing. And that's not because I think I'm bad or nothing like that. It's just that, you know, there's no time to have bad people in my life. Eh? You know what I mean? It's just a waste of my time. And, and I ain't got no time for that. I feel it 100%. Yeah. What are the uh, costs and effects of being famous? Uh, well, I mean, I don't got no paparazzi's waiting outside here. I don't got none of that going on, but it's been kind of cool. I've been, you know, in L.A. for the past two days, and, you know, we go to the uh, we go to the taco shop, and, yeah, you little Rob, yeah, what's up? Just meet him real quick, sign something for him real quick. Uh, and it just kind of happens to be everywhere I go. We went to go try to find some pro clubs, you know, downtown <laughs> and everything. I couldn't find a pro club. You couldn't find a pro club? You should have uh, called. Man, sort of Justin, five, call me. Man, man. But it was all to the good, man. We got, we got, we got, you know, it was good. But the girl that sold me down, shout out to you too, yo. Uh, um, she was a fan of mine too. And she was, you know, really helpful with me and everything. And uh, That's right. And uh, just kind of everywhere, everywhere we went, man. It's, it's kind of happening everywhere we go. That's love. You know what I mean? But then, you know, I show love right back, man. It's all, it's all to the good. Like I said, I appreciate it. And, and uh, yeah, it's all to the good, man. Who has better tacos, San Diego or L.A.? I've been asked that before, but I've never been to every place in L.A. And I've never been to every place in San Diego. Just the places you've so, been to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I can't really, like, you know. You know, What's your favorite they, spot in SDD tacos yeah, at? That's what I'm saying. See, I like places like Roberto's and Alberto's. What? And like that shit. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> gonna burn in hell said. for that, my that's G. That's says too. Eh? Like, well, that's not even you know, you know. But I mean, I like that stuff. At like, least say El Gordo's fuck. food, eh? That's crazy. You said Rigiberto's and Filiberto's oh. and Alberto's. Oh, you're yeah, a wild food, guy. Yeah. The, the beef tacos they are good. Eh? I love that. God, I can't believe you said that, fool. But this interview is uh, over. Nah, <laughs> that was that's crazy. That's thing, yeah. I said, I had to roll taco. Have you had, have you had King Taco? I have. You like it? Yeah, it's good. It was cool. Yeah. Well, some people, oh, Rob. Rob the original sat right where you said it said King uh, Taco. <laughs> yeah, no, I got nothing bad to say about anybody. I mean, <laughs> they, got, they got good tacos. Oh, uh, that's good tacos. Everybody loves tacos. Hey, everybody. You know, it's all good. I'm not mad at it. So I pro like clips. Tacos, I like those tacos. All good. Okay, go ahead. All right, well, so what kind of meat do you like on your tacos then? Asada. Regular. I, know, I like the beef tacos they got there, but then we go have birria tacos. And That's right. Of, what is it? Uh, Teddy's Red Tacos out here. In, hey, we just had oh, Teddy Red man. Tacos too. That fool's a nice, nice guy. I don't know if you've met oh, the owner, but he's a great them, guy. But those, those those tacos are bomb too, so I'm, I don't know what kind of tacos I like the best, man. See, I'm just like, <laughs> that got me all confused, eh? I like it. <laughs> birria might be one of the best. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but we had all the we had all the Mexican places, man, all over the place. Uh, she likes to to look up uh, different places and uh, w whatever city we're going to and uh, go support the uh, up and coming uh, places, man. That's yeah, right. And we like to do that stuff a lot. What you got for this fine gentleman back there, sir? You've been awfully quiet this whole time. You uh, stuck or what? Nah, hey, wh what's been about you that's kind of made you catapult and um, kind of reach higher limits as opposed to like other Chicano rappers? Uh, man, I can't really say exactly what it is, man, but I could say that, I, you know, I'm really low-key and I don't really, like, like, uh, I'm not out there too much, like, uh, maybe burning myself out, maybe. I mean, I don't know mm. if anyone else is doing that or whatnot. Uh, I didn't plan to do that or to do it the way that I've done it, um, uh, for the longevity. The longevity is crazy, you know? Facts. I couldn't ask for anything else than that, but I didn't plan it that way, man, and that's just being good people to... To everybody that comes in my life, man, I try to be good people at all times, man. To everybody, man, and uh, and then um, that's pretty much my claim to fame, dude. Just, just being good people, man, and uh, and not burning no bridges, man, and really not not doing nobody wrong, man. You know. Mm. So the longevity just came from all that, you know. 
I don't have to. Uh, I have nothing to apologize for, man. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing to nobody. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so it's almost like it's, I'm in a good position to where, like, you know, I can sleep at night because, you know, I didn't do nobody wrong. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's kind of like my. Why thing. is it that you kind of get a lot of hate? Because uh, you seem like you just be like to your own, like you do the family be, thing, man. music. I, yeah, I try to be, man. You know, um, I don't know, man. You'd have to ask mm. them, I guess, man. And, and really dig deep and uh, ask yourself what the problem is because I don't know. You know what I mean? All I've been doing is just uh, being myself and just, you know, recording music. I, I didn't come back to uh, to cause a ruckus or nothing like that. I just, I just, I just came back because the people wanted to hear me at the shows. And, you know, where's your new music at? You've been doing shows for a long time, but not uh, no album for the past uh, nine, ten years. You know, like, what's up, man? So I just thought maybe, you know, I would come back and do it. And so that's what we did. Talking about touring, what is one of your, well, so far you don't want to say any favorites, right? So what city <laughs> has shown you the most love, you think? Where have you felt the most love when you've been on tour? Don't say everywhere, fool. Not, I mean, it's pretty much. I know they show you love everywhere, but maybe someone threw their panties at you at one oh, stage man. or some shit. So many panties in this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Like, LA's always been bumping. You got, you know, you got... A city over here, a city over there, a city over there. You're still in L.A. and they're all just bumping. <laughs> That's you know what right. I'm saying? So that and uh, I don't know, man. El Paso's always showed me lots of love. They Chico Town and That's right. Did Atlanta. Atlanta's bumping. Atlanta was lit. Yeah, dude, we did New York, dude. Me, me, Bash, uh, me, Bash, and Magic did. How was me. that? It was fucking sold out, man. It was packed. It was. Bumping. That's dope. What a big blessing. Old, big old place, man. It was, uh, it was bumping, dude. So. I didn't know what to expect when we got to New York, you know. But uh, that's a really far away land for a Southern California oh, yeah. rapper. I just wanted to know what was gonna happen, but it was bumping, and they knew my shit too, man. So it was, it was uh, that's awkward, hard, man. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Converse, yeah, it was all the time, nonstop, the time. no Cortez. Yeah, so many pairs of black Converse is crazy. Man. <laughs> Once they get a little damage on them, I'd like, that's it. New pair. No, no Cortez. But, uh, that was a thing of the past, man. I was wearing those a lot, but then they stopped selling them, dude. Like, uh, where I was at, they stopped selling them, so I stopped buying them. So that was, uh, this was the other Converse option. was the next option. And then I just never went back. And then, then they, then they got like the, I don't know, some of the, com uh, the Cortez are kind of weird now. They got a different, like, top, you know, like with that. Oh, the new shit. It's like weird. And the swoosh is weird. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I could use them though. It gives me like a little bit. A little, a little extra. taller, you know. <laughs> I be taking pictures with everybody. I'm like, I look a little short nowadays. I'm like, what's going hey, on? Hey, you wanna know what? I'm not gonna lie. I always thought you were tall as hell. Yeah, and then yeah. I met you and then you weren't. And I was like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah. Hey, when are you gonna stop being little Rob and be like Big Rob? Ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh yeah, no, that's who I am, man. Shit, you know, it's just crazy. Yeah. I'm mad at it. But a lot of people didn't know, like 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 little, little Rob. I mean, my breakdancing days, my my name was uh Little Rock and I could remember uh Pop locking or breakdancing? I was trying to break. So you could do a windmill. I'm not I'm not going to tell uh, you no right now, yeah, big dog. I mean, I could at the time, but a real slow one. I'm mad at it. You still twirled? Yeah, I still twirled, man. I still did. What was the baddest shit you could do? Uh, nothing crazy, man. Maybe the hand spin. <laughs> what do you call that? A 2000 or some <laughs> shit like that? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Where you fucking stand on your hand and... Oh, no, I couldn't do that either. Probably... Oh, you said a head spin. Yeah. No, no. Not even head spin. Oh, the hand, the hand spin. Oh. The hand spin. You, you spin. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that shit. Yeah, I like that, man. So, But back in the days, like, even our room was all tagged up, like, uh, like Beat Street and everything. Yeah. So I had my uh, I had my name on the wall. My brother used to draw spray cans with hands coming out of them like they're waving. Oh, that's hard. So then I had my little name on the wall. I said Little Rock. That little ROC, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. kind of rock, you know? And, uh, but then that C turned into a B for Little Rob, man, and that just became my, my rap name. And I mean, it's your name. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. But, you know, the C was block letter. Oh, yeah, like yeah, block yeah. Block B, but just not really, but then that C became a B, and it's... And here yeah, we are. Rob, man, yeah. But I wish I could break down. I wish I could pop, man. Try I could, it. I could, I know I could. Let's see something real quick. But not right now, right now. Okay. <laughs> Crazy, damn! Imagine little Rob fucking down right now on a windmill, fool. Yeah. Imagine. What's it gonna take? I'll do fifty push-ups this time. What's man. up? <laughs> nah, I can't do that. I can't do that right there, man. I can't even do it no more. I like how you actually considered it and you look like I, I can't do it. Right? Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> I do it or not? Nah. I'm gonna kick over all the cameras.
It's yeah. worth it. <laughs> That's hard. What else do you have for this fine gentleman, sir? Hey, so on this new album, are there any unreleased songs that you already had, or all of them are new? Uh, well, uh, like I said, so, so I, you know, I'd be writing them over the years, man. So they, then it became an album. So a lot of them are kind of old. Like that Sunday night that I put out a while back, uh, I'm, 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 uh, the Sunday night one, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Right now, but that's from 2013. <laughs> and I just had it and I just threw it out. You know, I got Diamond Ortiz on it. Shout out to my homeboy Diamond Ortiz, man. Thank that's you, right. big dog. Um, so then uh, he, uh, we did that. Abraham, um, friend Abraham shot that video for me. Uh, shout out to Platinum Car Club and uh, they had the cars for me and everything, man. Uh, uh, ben, Ben Vasquez, uh, Vasquez Garage. Uh, so we did that, that was from 2013, mm. you know. Uh, another song on this album called I Know, it's like an oldie, oldie type, uh, kind of love jam, but you know, a, a cool one, you know, not too mandilon, not like that, you know. It's a cool little jam shit, you know, but it's called I Know and that must be from about 2012, 2013. But I revamped it up with fingers and made it what it should be, you know. Uh, it was never really done, but now it's complete and done, you know. Um, yeah, just a few songs over the years, man. Just, mm. just been working on and everything, man. So never nothing really unreleased. Just mm. would you? Uh, s- go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Weren't done. How many songs do you have just you just holding on? You just sitting on? Aside from this album, uh, I said about. 253. <laughs> I'm playing with you, I'm writing. It's like 1,218? Nah, nah, I'm writing as I go, man. There, there's jams that I've, I've had in my head that I've, I've written and everything, and I've, I forgot them. And so, you know, but um, as of right now, man, I'm just, I'm just going with the flow now, you know, so they're all just pretty much new from this point on. So nothing really, uh, nothing in the vault that That's right. hasn't been heard or, or worth putting out, I guess, you know. Mm. Something that I hear like in common with all of the legends like you down and others is a producer and it's fingers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me about your relationship with fingers. Yeah, well I mean for a minute I hadn't talked to it for a long time, man. It was like years, you know, that had gone by and I did a couple of other mixtapes like It's My Time and um the Oldie Collection. That's a lot of uh, Mooks production from from uh, Austin, Texas, my boy from Austin, Texas. Shout out to right. Oaks, man. Shout out to did, uh, Bring out the freaking you. We did uh, neighborhood music. He did a lot of good songs for me too, man. So, oh, if all your fingers is the shit, yo. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, so it was a long time, right? <laughs> I already knew, and I was going to the studio and uh, recording uh, all these little, you know, verses and everything. But they were never complete songs, and I knew exactly who to hit up. And it was fingers, man. Let's do this, man. And uh, he heard the jams, and he was like, "All right, cool, let's do it." And um, I just knew he was the man to go to, man. You know, where it's gonna come out. You know, real clean and bumping, dude. And uh, I didn't want to go any other route on this one, man. Just uh, and it, it was a hop, skip, and a jump for me to get to the studio and make it easy and make it fast for me because I got to get back home and, and take care of the family stuff and uh, other things. And uh, so what, it was just fast, man, and convenient for me. And I just knew he was the one, too. What so, kind of music do you listen to when you're out there riding around doing your shit? When, when I'm just riding around, like just like music that I'm, that I'm listening to, just... Yeah, the same same thing you probably think I'd listen to, man. Like, funk? I feel like you listen to funk. I mean, like, you know, like Zap and Roger, a lot of Egyptian lover type of stuff, you know. And Egypt. I ain't mad at it. You know, because I, you know, I want, you know, I wanted to, I, I start <laughs> while I'm driving and shit, you know, but um, but a lot of that music, Tina Marie and like SOS. The man, classics. And all the classics, man. That's just kind of like what I bump, you know, like. Have you heard of Night of the Blacksican? It's I, like a I, concert I, series type of party. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard about that. Yeah, it gets a lot of old school things. Huh? No, yep, yep. Yeah, that's dope. My man. boy, shout out to my boy Memo the Blacks again. Yeah, um, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, man. No, yeah. I think uh, I think you would kill at a show like that. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. if we could try to set something up for you. I'd be down. Yeah, let us know, man. When you're not too busy. Talk to me about lowriders. How many lowriders have you owned in your life? Oh, well. <laughs> I've had... Uh, I don't know, what, three, four, four, or something like that, yeah. Talk to me about them. I don't know what the... <laughs> yeah, I had, a 93, I had a 93 Fleetwood. Fire. I got a Cadillac. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I had a uh, 95 Fleetwood. Ha-ha, <laughs> Cadillac yet again. Cadillac, yeah. A 63 Impala convertible, a 49 Chevy pickup. And, Hard. And my... And now I just cruise my 83 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, yeah. I'm mad at it. Which one's your I, favorite? That's all I roll now, you know. That's that's all I have now. That's all I, that's it. The 83? Um, yeah, that's all I need, man. You know? That shit's hard, yeah, though. You know? Big body. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Gangster looking, too. Hell yeah. yeah. What's uh, your, What was your favorite out of all of them? 
probably my 95 with the LT1 motor. I should jam there. Psh, use the engine swap, huh? So yeah, when I when I was living in that place I was talking about, man, that shit would take off when I needed it to. <laughs> Cause what was what was the engine in there? One of those North Stars or some shit? Nah, it's the LT1, like a Corvette engine. No, no, no. But before you did the swap, was it in? A- oh no, I didn't do no swap. Oh no, really? Yeah, it comes like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah. My '83, nah, it, it, it don't take off like that. Yeah, I know. I have Grandpa a car mode, mode. I have a '91. That shit says. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> nah, I know. So it's good though, man. Yeah. What else do we got coming up next from you after this? Uh, all to the all to the bueno, obviously out now or not out now, out November third. November third. Uh, a moment in time is out now. Yeah, yeah, that's how right now. It's uh, directed by Stevan. We just shot the video and yep. put it out, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that. Listen to the message behind it and uh, and yeah, stay away from those kind of people. Don't be those kind of people, you know. I feel it. Yeah, man. And it's all to the bueno and live your life in this moment in time and try to have a good time with your life. Otherwise, it's just a waste. Talk to us about your upcoming well, tour date, sir. Yeah. He's like, yeah, every. Yeah, I mean, I don't really, I don't, I don't know him offhand right now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I do know I got to be in uh, Salt Lake City this Saturday at the Depot. So hope to see you guys all there, yo. That's I'll be right. Back at Pomona, in Los Angeles uh, next month at the Novo, and uh, oh, I forgot the other theater, man. But uh, yeah, and then next year, man, we already got a lot of shows lined up for next year, ready for 2024. So sick. Uh, it don't stop and it won't stop, man, as long as I keep breathing and keep moving, you know? That's right. Is there anything you'd like to leave the people with before we clock out, my brother? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, your humble little Rob with the brand new album coming out after almost 10 years, man. Uh, all to the bueno, because no matter what, it's all to the bueno coming out November 3rd. So make sure you guys will check it out. Go check out my singles, uh, Too Much and uh, Moment in Time. And um, yeah, I ain't stopping no time soon. Know what I mean? And just be good people, yo. Be good people, because I only mess with good people. So um, that's how it goes down on the brown side of town, on this end, you know? That's right. Yeah. Well, one of the top fools, <laughs> one of the a legend, a legend facts. Oh, Little you. Rob. Behind the boards, we got the Wizard of Fools, Rich Homie Juan. And of course, I'm LA Icon. We highly appreciate y'all. It's the Food Community Podcast. Yeah, thank you guys. Oh, yeah. These fools.